Yo, what is good, YouTube? And welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be doing gameplay with the brand new Dark Matter point guard, LeBron James. Shout out to my boy Phantasma for letting me use his account to record this gameplay. Really appreciate that. PG Braun is obviously going to be insane, but this card is basically his prior 100 overall, but worse is what it is. And that's fine. That's still a very, very good card. This Braun is going to be absolutely elite and one of the very best point guards in the game, but he is by no means game breaking. This drop is by no means game breaking the way that the Wimby drop was last week in terms of just stupidly op goat card so as good as this brawn is i'm going to actively encourage y'all as always please do not spend your money on the game you can be like me and i don't even play the game very much and i still have a very solid lineup like you can build a good team without spending money you don't gotta go gambling chasing after one or two cards that you're probably not gonna get i repeat myself every week but it's the same every week so again encouraging y'all not to spend your money regardless Card's going to be good. Excited to try them out. Before we hop in, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. So, Big Braun, 6'9", at point guard. I mean, stats are pretty close to perfect. Here's the thing. He's going to play exactly like his 100 overall. He's going to play exactly like it. There's not going to be a noticeable difference. Every single badge in the game is on at least gold, and pretty much all of them are the important Hoffs. I mean, when you look at the Hoff, the gold badges on gold, gold handles for days is that a Hoff is annoying, and that's kind of a flaw. But outside of that, I mean, he doesn't have hook specialist. Who cares? He's got every single other badge in the game and every single other important Hall of Fame badge in the game except for handles for days. But if you want to look for something to critique, that would be the thing to critique is that he doesn't really have... Um, the elitist of dribbling ability with only gold handles for days at the point guard spot now his release is fine it's smooth enough it's the same brawn release we've used all year it's the same release he's had on every card since his opal came out at the all-star break is that very quick brawn release so except for goat brawn which has a different release but everyone all the other ones have this release and again this card at 100 overall brawn is exceptional so is this brawn they're going to do the same exact thing at the point guard position, which is defend at an elite level, provide exceptional size, slash insanely well, have exceptional animations across the board, and be a competent but not exceptional 300 and shooter. His six could be a little better. Uh, I mean, his six actually probably couldn't be a little better. His release could be a little better. Bronze release is just not that elite at the end of the year, and that's okay. Um... But that will hold him back from being the elite level 300 that he otherwise would be because his SIGs are exceptional. Gold handles for days instead of Hoff is a little bit of a flaw as well, but it's not a big flaw as a whole. I mean, this Braun is one of the best cards in the game and very much one of the very best point guards in the game where he ranks among non-100 overall gambling or non-100 non overall and GOAT point guards is probably like third or fourth behind point guard Wimby, point guard Cade, and maybe one or two more guys. I don't know. I think this Braun card's really good though. He's very much in that discussion as the very best point guards in the game, and I think he's going to be exceptional. So let's hop into a game, see what Braun can do. All right, got a good matchup here against a dude who's got SGA, Wimby, uh, Jerry West the two. Maybe could be a little bit of a stronger card as a whole, but outside of that, I'm Beasley at the three, and then uh, who does he have at the four? Is that Jokic? I mean, as a whole, that's a really good lineup. Braun to the rim. Are you trolling me? No way he missed it. It rolled around and it went out. That's tough. He's tired already. Uh, by the way, you want to know why he's tired already? It's because he doesn't have off-handles for days. But anyways, um, that's why he just wound up missing that dunk right there, I think, because his green window wound up being a little bit smaller, so I missed the dunk. Now, I could have timed the green window better. It was still big enough to green the shot, and I should have hit it like that. I can't blame the game for my own inability to time a dunk. But at the same time, um, him not having off handles for days leads to that being a smaller green window makes it a tougher shot to make and I miss it It happens. Um attack downhill again Braun all the way LeBron James Don't let the freight train have an open lane because he will finish every single time and well except for that first time that I just missed it But generally speaking he will finish every single time and immediately I give up another free <laughs> Dude, I'm playing so bad. <laughs> My defense is so horrific. It's not even funny I don't even know just give up the two like what am I doing legitimately the thing about Braun really the only thing about Braun That's that's just incredible and very valuable is he has his animations he always moves like like a freight train like in real life i mean he's just he does incredible incredible things and i think he is um defensively and player build and all that type of stuff very impactful on the offense on both ends of the court honestly um with his defense and his size now his release and his three hunting are limited compared to a lot of the point guards who have come out now especially with only gold handles for days but like i don't want to sit here and say braun's not still one of the very best point guards in the game because he 100 percent still is one of the very best point guards in the game not to mention again being a big time mismatch against a lot of point guards jerry west is a great example but jerry west is far from the only example in terms of smaller point guards who a lot of people are going to use who lebron is going to be a big time mismatch against at the same time 
He's also far from game breaking. We've had 100 overall Braun in the game for a while, and a lot of people have that card. And he's not insanely overpowered anymore any, at all. Like, was he when he first came out? Maybe, but now he's definitely not. And I wouldn't even say this this Braun is the best not gambling point guard. I, like, when it comes to gambling point guards, there's probably a few guys better than him. Definitely Wimby being 7 4, talk about OP. But even a guy like a Cade Cunningham is probably as good or better than this Braun. And then obviously a lot of the free point guards that are still available between Jokic, Clyde, and a bunch of other guys who have come out um can definitely compete again no need to gamble for a brawn even if he is very very good he is certainly nothing special and i mean he's gonna be good but he's not ness he's not a necessity you know what i mean my defense is so poor um uh, let's see if we can get ourselves a a three ball off um i want to shoot the three ball but i just don't think it's really gonna come open um it's the thing that i mean it, unless it depends how he plays d but there we go got a mid-range and i missed that slightly early i just there's just something about the slower releases, man. Even if they're slightly slower, it's just more inconsistent to time. It feels, I don't feel as confident shooting the ball with them. And unfortunately, my defense is just not where it needs to be. So that's even worse than my offense right now. But um, offensively, I don't think his releases, I don't, I'm not going to say it holds this card back or ruins him at all, but I don't, like, I'd much rather use a lot of the other primary ball handlers that are available in the game right now than most LeBron. If you were, I will say this, if you get this LeBron, He's a great card. Number one, be ideal to put half handles for days on him if you can. Number two, he should really not be your primary ball handler. As good as Braun is, you should be really using a Glenn Rice or somebody like that who has the release to really be a threat as a three hunter because the way you can play against a Braun defensively is very different than the way that you have to play a guy like Glenn Rice just because Braun is not... I mean, as good of a shooter as he is, he's not the same caliber of shooting threat at this point in the year. And I think that's totally fair and honest to say. Um, finally, actually, a decent pos defensive possession. Did a good job of staying in front of that possession. Nothing open here. Don't give up a backdoor at the end of the possession. I tr I manually tried to cover that, and I'm so glad that he didn't score that because I don't know how I didn't get that steal. But um, kick this to the corner. Up top to Braun. Braun, back it up. And let's get our miss. I mean, we have a mismatch here. We have a couple mismatches because I could have obviously called Wimby as the screener as well. But Braun to the rim. The freight train is coming and he finishes at the rim. Let's go. Beautiful stuff. LeBron James getting downhill and finishing that dunk. And it is now only a three-point game. Played a lot of close games today because of my lack of defense. But we are in this one for sure. Got a chance to win. And um, block. No, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Just bad defense. I don't need to jump there. I don't need to. I mean, I'm going to lose this game because of my own defensive incompetence, to be honest. Um, I would, I'd would, i really like to shoot that, but it's just not open. Uh, pick and pop here. Maybe I can get the same side. Has he open instead? And he's too tired to really even... He's getting gassed, bro. This is the no handles for days that, that, that impacts that, by the way. He would be getting tired regardless, but the handles for days on gold instead of Hoff... It matters, and it's it's one of those things that I've noticed is like one of the only things that really is becoming a little bit of a differentiator of cards at this point in the year because the vast majority of cards can do everything insanely well. So that half handles for days versus gold winds up mattering on a lot of these cards as like a differentiator of sorts. But uh, good defense here, great D wall up, 15 seconds left, good D. Yep, get the board and run. Uh, do not foul me, please. If you foul me, you are so lame. By the, eh, you know what? It's just it's just one of those games man i just i don't know i don't like running my offense through lebron this year if you go back and watch my other gameplays with these with different bron cards this year y'all will probably see the same kind of theme and that's that he is a little bit of a challenge to run your offense through 12 points one assist five of seven from the field but i did not feel confident shooting three ball with him and i i just i don't think he's game breaking at all He's the greatest player of all time, in my opinion, in real life. But in 2K right now, with the way his release is, there are a few point guards I'd probably rather have over him because of the, I mean, his defense is super valuable. And if you put him in the right situation, he's exceptional, but he's certainly not a must have, not even close. Hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.